Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are from Group 6 and we will present to you on the fraction of hydrocarbon intermediate, butadiene. So what is butadiene? Butadiene is a synthetic colorless gas that is practically insoluble in water and soluble in ethanol, ether, acetone and benzene. It is a hazardous chemical due to its highly flammable reactivity and toxicity. Butadiene is a major product of the petrochemical industry and an important building block for many consumer and industrial products. The largest use of the butadiene is the production of synthetic rubber. The demand for the butadiene was declined by 5% in 2020, but it is expected to continue recover in the first half of 2021. Next is the production process of butadiene. In the refinery industry, butadiene is produced as a byproduct of the steam cracking process used to produce ethylene and other alkenes. Then, it will further purified by butadiene recovery process. Like feeds such as ethane give familiar ethylene when cracked, but heavier feeds favor the formation of heavier olefins such as butadiene and aromatic hydrocarbon. So, this is the detailed process diagram on the production of butadiene steam cracking. So, from our feed stock that undergoes steam cracking, and then it will flow into several process and separation to remove the other olefin until our desired product crude butadiene is produced. In order to obtain high purity of butadiene, the crude butadiene or crude C4 will be purified via extractive distillation. Extractive distillation is required because the boiling point of the component of crude butadiene are so close together. The typical process involves one or two extractive distillation steps followed by one or two conventional distillation steps. Duration mechanism of butadiene. Duration mechanism of butadiene is based on the steam cracking duration. Three steps are involved. First, the inertion step where the free radicals are created. Second, propagation step that do the major leading into the conversion petroleum to the low molecular weight olefin obtained. Lastly, is termination step where two free radicals happen to come together from time to time. This is the example reaction mechanism of steam cracking using ethane model. So now, I will proceed with the reaction condition for the production of our steam cracking of butadiene. Temperature used in this reaction is 800 degrees Celsius to 900 degrees Celsius and it uses normal uh, pressure which is one atmospheric pressure. I am sorry because I cannot find any reaction equation for the steam cracking of butadiene but I found the steam cracking of ethane where in this reaction Saturated hydrocarbon, which is ethane, are broken into smaller unsaturated hydrocarbon, which is ethylene. Where from the research, it has found out that over 95% of butadiene is produced as a byproduct of ethylene production from the steam crackers. So from the from this reaction, we can uh, obtain uh, butadiene by the byproduct of ethylene. For the comparisons of the process, we compare three types of cracking processes. We compare steam cracking with catalytic cracking and thermal cracking. As you can see, uh, we compare in terms of purpose, cracks, length, temperature, pressure, catalyst and mechanism. As you can see from catalytic cracking, a uh, longer hydrocarbon chains, which is C16, are broken into medium hydrocarbon chains, which is C8 and uh, C8 H16, same goes to thermal cracking, while for steam cracking, medium change, which is uh, C6, C6, is broken into small chains, and temperature use for catalytic cracking also is low because it uses catalyst and it does not require high temperature to get the butadiene, whereas for thermal cracking, it uses high temperature, which is 450 degrees Celsius to 700 50 degrees Celsius. Same goes to steam cracking, which is 800 degrees Celsius to 900 degrees Celsius. And pressure used for catalytic, catalytic cracking also uh, is moderate, which is only about 2 to 3 atmospheric pressure. And thermal cracking uses up to 70 atmospheric pressure. And from uh, the literature review that I read, uh, thermal cracking is uh, much more expensive than the two uh, reaction because it uses high temperature and pressure. But steam cracking uses moderate pressure, which is only at 1 atm, which is at normal condition. For the catalyst, catalytic cracking uses catalyst, uh, which is zeolite, 
while, while thermal acid cracking does not use any catalyst. Next, we compare three different processes to, uh, to produce butadiene. The first process is steam cracking. The second process is catalytic dehydrogenation of N-butene and N-butene, which is known as Hydro process. The third process is oxidative dehydrogenation of N-butene, oxy-D or oxy-D process. And in terms of comparison, we compare in terms of feedstock. Where steam cracking uses hydrocarbon feedstock, which is light alkene, nephta, gas oil, while um, catalytic dehydrogenation use butene to decompose it to butene and 1,3-butadiene and oxidative dehydrogenation uses butene as feedstock and oxygen as cool feedstock and we also compare in terms of temperature, yield and catalyst. Let's move on to the examples of butadiene plants in, our, in all over the world. First of all, let's look at the local butter implants in our country. One of the major manufacturers of butter implant butadiene in our country is Titan Chemicals. The Titan Chemical produces among 100,000 ton per year of butadiene, which worth to around 6 billion butadiene plant at Pasir Gudang. They are producing this butadiene since 2006. Another one, main manufacturer of butadiene plants in our country is Optimal Olefin Spanishes and Rebel Herb. So now, let's move on to the global butadiene plants. There are a lot of manufacturers of butadiene all over the country, all over the world. But one of some of the major companies are such as BASF, Borrelius, Equistar Chemical, ExxonMobil, Ineos, Polymery Europa, Reliance Industries, Repsol, YPF, Sabic, Shanghai Petrochemical, Shell, Sinopec are one of them. Metanex Corporation are currently one of the leading producers of the butadiene plant. They have companies all over the world such as in Asia, Oceania, North America, South America, Europe and Middle East. Together with Metanex Corporation, the butadiene Olinx, which placed in Trinidad, and also Mitsubishi Gas Chemical Corporation are one of the leading manufacturers of butadiene in the world currently. Thank you.